everyone. Um, so it's been a little while since I've done a video on this channel and I wanted to give a little update on um, where I am with things. Um, so today I'm cycle day 18 of our second cycle of TTCing and um, this cycle I decided that I was going to do some new things to me, um, new, th new to me things. I don't know if that sounds right. Um, and start temping <clears throat> and um, use uh, ovulation predictor strips. So I ordered some um, a, a pack of uh, just like cheap OPK strips that also came with some um, like cheap strip pregnancy tests. Um, I ordered them off of Amazon. So um, so I got those a few weeks ago and um, I've started using them last la the middle of last week um, and. I have to say, I'm, like, I find it really interesting, but I don't, like, I'm now on cycle day 18, and yesterday, it looked like I was getting a positive, and then today, I did it again, and it doesn't look as strong as yesterday, like, I kind of thought that it would be, um, that it would get a little bit stronger today, and then, you know, fade off, um, like, I definitely think that I either ovulated yesterday, or I'm ovulating today, because I had some um, pains on the right side, which for me is very typical um, for me to have right around ovulation. So, so like I, I believe that it was either yesterday or today. Um, but I feel like the strips are. I'm maybe I'm not just not very good at reading them. I mean, not that they're that complicated, but so I've actually I feel a little funny about this, but I've been saving them and like have a little notebook that I'm taping them into. Um, and I feel a little bit funny about this to like be saving little strips that I've, you know, peed on. Um, but whatever, it's, it is what it is. And um, so, so I can show you, let's see if I can show this. So this one is yesterday's and then this one is today's. And like, I feel like that definitely looks darker than this one. Um, the one over the line there is the test line, and then that's the that's the control line. Um, so I'm not quite sure what to think about it. Like I tested in the afternoon, which I know you're not you're not supposed to test first thing in the morning for these. Um, so I'm just not sure about it. I might do another one this evening just to see. Um, although I'm going over to my um, brother-in-law and sister-in-law's house for dinner, so. Maybe I won't do another one. Um, but anyway, it's just a little bit confusing. And um, and since I just started temping this month, I obviously can't really see trends happening. Um, so it's just kind of an interesting um, interesting experiment to try out and, um, you know, see, see how it goes. So that's all been, you know, interesting. Obviously, I'm still in the middle of my cycle, so um, my guess would be that if I ovulated yesterday or today, um, that then that would put me into the two-week wait, like tomorrow, um, or today, something like that. It's all pretty new to me, so um, so that's you know that's good and and exciting and, and all of that, um, and yeah, so that's pretty much where I am. Um, I don't think there is really anything else. To update about. Um, I still have not heard back from the maternal fetal specialist. I did request my hospital records be sent to him, so hopefully I will hear back from him, I don't know, in the next few weeks. I know it can take a while for records to be sent, so, um, and I see my, my regular doctor, who's both my PCP and my um, specialist for, for Lyme disease and the other tick-borne diseases that I have, um, so I see her on Monday, and that's just a regular appointment with her. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much where things are, um, you know, hopeful for this month, but I'm kind of, this month, more so than last month, not stressing about it and just relaxing, and, like, if it happens this month, that would be great. If it doesn't happen this month, that's fine. Um, there have been some kind of stressful things going on, um, in my marriage between my husband and I uh, recently, so that has 
you know, just kind of added to the whole situation of, like, there's just a lot going on. So, um, yeah. So, you know, we'll see. If it happens this month, great. If not, that's fine. Um, and we'll just keep trying. So, um, so that's it. Um, if you have any insights about the OPKs, um, I would appreciate any knowledge about them. You know, this is my first month using them. Um, I started testing on cycle day nine and didn't do it over the weekend, but, um, you know, I've been doing it every day since then. And, um, I just had hoped that it would be a little bit clearer and I'm just having some trouble, you know, figuring it out. And so like, I guess I wonder how dark the test line needs to be, like how close to the darkness of the control line does the test line need to be for it to be considered positive? And how many days should it be positive for? Um, and this is probably information that I can get online um, by searching, but, you know, anyone who's been through all of this uh, and has insights for me, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, so that's it. Uh, I will update again when I have some news, and I hope you all are doing well. Bye.